to prevent fatal injuries in football, I have invented this new type football helmet, which I believe will do much to rid the game of fatalities. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, my brother? Bro, what's happening, man? Oh, man, I can't call it. What are what, what we sound like? What our levels sound like, fellas? It's good to be oh. back. Been a minute. It's been a minute, man. A little holiday season, a little, little time oh. off, you know what I mean? Cats going on vacation. You know what oh, I mean? You celebrated man. a birthday and an anniversary, man. You want to give us a little recap? But, but, but before you do that, Shout out to you, my brother. You see, I'm on a, uh, you know, I'm on a brew. I've been on my brew. Me too. Lately. Yeah. I've been on my brew kick lately, man. I, yeah, man. I hadn't drank like beer in a while because it, it it always make you feel like you know what I mean. You had like a full meal after you uh, had yeah. a couple of brews. You know what I mean? So definitely get full, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I've been back on that kick, and uh, it's that volume sounding good. But anyway, man, like I said, you had an anniversary, you had a birthday, like, a lot going on with you, my brother. Yeah, man, you know, November is a, is a, is a, it's a, it's a tough month for me, and, and with my pockets, man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I, my birthday on the 18th, man, right. me and the wife anniversary on the 21st, mm-hmm. then her birthday on the 24th. Pockets, yeah, man. Po- pockets, pockets take you know take a take a bit of a hit for show. Man, uh but anyway, so, happy belated to you. You know what I'm saying? Happy, saying, happy uh good. anniversary again. I'm you know, I already 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 said these things to you, but again, it's always a blessing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Appreciate Another it, year in the books, and uh everybody's happy and health happy and healthy. So that's that's a that's a blessing in itself. Episode 54, man, the break's over. We back at it. Got a lot of show to get into tonight. Uh, yeah, man. Got some got some people in the chat right now. Chop, JB, uh, Richie in there. Rich August is like that for him. Uh, August is a pretty busy month for birthdays and I'm guessing anniversaries and stuff like that for him. Yeah. Uh, you know, A A eighty nine just took a tough loss to Roger uh, before we advanced there. So good to see him. There's Roger there. Um, but shout out to everybody that jumped into the chat right now. Uh, got a good nine viewers right now. Okay. Um, but anyway. I mean, that, I mean, that was his fault, man. He had to stop. He got stripped on aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At the worst time, you get a face mask. Like, I was watching. I just was, I was watching. Well, I, I watched the end of it, like the yeah, fourth I, I, quarter. Yeah, I watched the fourth quarter yeah. of that game, too. It was a good game. I, 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 I was thinking, like, to myself, I was like, I didn't, I didn't know if it would finish. Before we needed to start, it would have been perfect because it would have led right into the show. I could have called that damn game. I, yeah. and that's one of the topics that I get into it a little later. But <clears throat> our first topic of the night is, Drex, what's up, Drex? This GTA 6, brother. That, hey, man, the, the trailer. Who, well, I was like, yeah. this, is this real? Like, this it, shit it, it looks real. super real. Like, like, when, like, when the shorties was walking down the beach, I was like, yo, that looked like a real, like a real joint. <laughs> I saw something on Twitter 
And I wish, you know, you know, I, I like to have stuff clipped up to play in, in the shot. Should have had that yeah. clipped up. But I, ain't, I I didn't know how that would, how would, how that would fare with, like, because Rockstar would be on Cat's head. But uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it was on Twitter. It had, like, the real-life Florida events. And then it was, like, yeah. the clips from the game. That shit I was, like, that, on yeah. point. I'm yeah. like, yo, this game, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Grand Theft fan. But watching y'all, you know, get into the Grand Theft Auto Five late, I wanted to get into it, but I'm like, damn, why is why, why do you still gotta pay? Grand Theft was fifteen ninety nine for like forever. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not paying yeah. I'm not paying fifteen ninety nine for a game that's been out since PS three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, cause shit, you still can get on there and go sell dope. Yeah, like y'all, y'all used to get on there and go crazy, but I will yeah. be on the GTA three, the GTA six, just because we got a nice little community of people. Um, yeah, you still got two years though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get on. There. I'm gonna get on there with y'all and rock out. Dre, I was, I was down there, man. You know, yeah, I, 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 I you, you, you was ducking the kid, man. No, I wasn't caught lagging. I was down here. You know what I'm saying? We was ready. Um, oh, but, uh, I ain't been in a long time, man. Yeah, we, we we go there every year around this time, uh, cause they decorate the whole park like Christmas like. Yeah. Yeah. So we was down there, you know. what I'm saying we do that every year. Daughter turned eighteen on me. I'm an old head. Bro. Yeah, you definitely was... an old head, man. I, I get it, man. My 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 oldest about to be seventeen next next month. So I feel it's, you, yeah, man. Man, it, 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 it was it, it, it was some tears shed. You know what I'm saying? Cause my 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 my, my First is now, you know, a grown ass woman, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, we went, we went, we went and saw a few, visited a few colleges. Um, and now we waiting on a uh, decision from her. She waiting on a letter from FAMU. Um, oh, okay. What's you with HBCUs? Yeah, HBCUs, man. Lincoln you, is. You ain't, you ain't come down here to Texas Southern, you know what I'm saying? I don't think she, I don't think she want to go too far, but then she's like FAMU. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to say, fam, you was yeah. farther than <laughs> But you Lincoln, know? you know, Lincoln HBCU is literally a hop, skip, and a jump away from me. So I hope that's where she go. You know what I'm saying? I loved everything about that campus. That was, out of all the visits that I went on, that was my favorite one. And she got full ride there. So I, w- I would like, yeah, pocket, yeah. pocket-wise, I would like that. I would like you to go there. Um, yeah, you see it, baby. You know what I'm saying? You are, you see me out here selling Texas Southern, man. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what's up. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I I could put the buzz in there. It's probably too late for that, though. But yeah. Um, but anyway, GTA 6, looking elite. The screenshots, the video, all that looks crazy. I'm excited for, uh, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not the biggest GTA guy, but you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I can jump on the bandwagon and, um, you know, get carried by a yeah. couple guys that play, play it religiously. So I ain't I ain't tripping about uh, that. Uh let's jump into this NBA minute. I got what I want to talk about for the NBA minute. I'll let you start off first. Unless you want me to go first, because I already know what I'm what I'm what I'm going man, in. With. I mean, I can't uh shit. I'm t- talk about those Pacers, man. They just got the a boy, they, they, they just got a good just, they just got a crazy victory they, in the they in, just, in, uh, Yeah, they just beat uh, the joint. Bucks. Uh, they advanced to the championship game. Yeah. They beat the Bucks. They advanced to the championship game, man. The boy Halliburton is eating, and of course, you know where he came from. Like you know what I'm saying, Sacramento. Yeah, yeah. So hey, that was a uh, that was a game because I because I, I shot over I shot over in PA and dropped some bets. I thought it was going to be a I, I, I bet the over because we was talking about it in AGS. They got they got a little gambling channel over there, and mm. the over was two fifty seven. I'm like, that's an easy over with these two cats playing and the way the Pacers yeah. be running. Because the way the Pacers play, they make people play at their pace too. So you yeah. know, what I mean, they're not playing much defense. I thought it was going to easily be a no defense, two sixty, yeah. two seventy type game. Yeah. They just missed it though. I think they missed by like eight points. Mm-hmm. Um, so that 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 killed a couple bets that I had. Um, a couple bets that I also have too is uh, you know, what I mean, I got this Bron uh, P- Pacers, uh, not uh, Lakers Pelicans game coming up. Yeah. They had they had they had plus money on LeBron double double. I thought that was a gimme. You know what I mean? Like anytime you can get, you don't think well, so? Well, you should get it. I, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's that's gonna it was be like tough. Plus five hundred. Because only reason why I say it's gonna be tough because the the Pacers got defenders for one. Pelicans, Pelicans. I mean, the, not the Pelicans. The I mean, not the Pacers, but the Pelicans. They got they got defenders, man. Yeah. And, I don't know if you watched the game when they played us. Like they gave us fits because they got yeah. so much athleticism on the wings and on shit. The, so yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they gonna cause 
LeBron trouble because they can send Brandon Ingram at him. They can send Murphy at him, uh, Herb Jones, like even Zion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got you know, a lot of bodies they can send at him. You know, it was even crazier. On the, In the Miles Murphy game, uh, in, in the Pacers game, they had Miles Murphy double double plus 7,000. This dude had 26 and like 16. And like, I was like, oh, God. I was all <laughs> that. I, I really wanted that. Yeah, that's so I was, crazy. I, I was tight about that. Um, and then uh, Anthony Davis was plus money on a double double too. Yeah. I feel like if anybody was to get a double double, based off listening to how you yeah. listen to what you're telling me, with Brian being you know locked up on the wing, it's going to be an Anthony Davis kind of game. Damn. All right. Whatever. I, I I feel like it should, but you know, I mean, I feel like it's LeBron in a in a in the game, a chance for him to go get a championship, even mm-hmm. though it's just a. You know what I'm saying? Playing. Yeah. I'm not the playing, but the in season tournament in-season shit. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Like playoff mode, Braun is different. So I mean he might get it, but I feel like that's a bad matchup for them. I feel like yeah, I feel like that's a bad matchup for them. I don't think they should have beat the Suns, honestly. Like the Warriors are a bad matchup for us. You feel like this is a bad matchup yes. for them. Like the fucking yeah. Warriors, man. Um but uh the end season tournament. I mean, this is, this time NBA minute, but the end season tournament has been a little lit. You know what I'm saying? The game. Yeah. I feel like they, I feel like they've been playing like, and I think the NBA needs a Pacers or, you know, what I mean somebody who a Pacers or a Nick. Did the Nick the Knicks? No, not the Knicks lost. That's why that's why it was a Pacers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I think the NBA needs one of these fan bases that are really care about it to win it. To kind of build it up a little bit because I I've, I've enjoyed it. It's most basketball. Why you know me? I, I'm. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a early February after All Star break kind of basketball fan, but I've been really into these games because I feel like they out there hooping like the fourth quarter of the All Star game. <laughs> you know yeah, that's kind of why. I mean, the, the piggyback off what you said, that's kind of why I want the uh, Pelicans to win mm. and not the Lakers because, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the Pacers versus the Pelicans. Like, two teams, like, nobody thought that would make it to the championship game type yeah. shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and the Pelicans Zion back, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of yeah. like the resurgence and, you know, he, he need. I think he needs this a lot more than, you know what I'm saying, even just the Pelicans fans, you know what I'm saying? Zion, yeah. Zion get playing in that championship game against Halliburton, two guys, that would be a crazy championship. I, 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 th- like, I, I, I think it will get a lot of viewership too. Yeah, just I feel like the, the Pelicans are smacking though. I just don't think the Pacers have enough. Like, I don't know. The Pelicans is, are, are deep. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they got scoring on everybody. Yeah. So yeah, that boy Halliburton, like limiting him is like how you win. Like you know what I'm saying? Miles went crazy tonight, though. Um, Yeah. Drex says Lakers all day. Rich, Rich, (laughs) Rich hating on Bron. Them them Knicks is out of there. Bron ain't do nothing. Bron ain't do nothing to them Knicks. (laughs) You need to holler at you know at them Bucks, b like. Um, hey, but go yeah, ahead. what you was gonna say though? No, no, uh, I was just gonna say, um, Pelicans, man, they, we owing three against them, like, yeah. they're throwing outside like the like the Warriors, like, shit. hey, but what, uh, what about your uh, NBA minute? My man? NBA minute is this boy, James Harden, <laughs> over there ruining another team. Thanks. Are we done? Oh, 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 oh. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Is, is the Harden thing over with? That's, that's my question man. to you. Is the Harden thing over with? No, he's, bro, I've been saying it for a while, bro. He's the problem. Like, people don't want to, like, bro, he's a cancer. Like, come on. Like, man. Like, that's crazy, man. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, you were in a great situation over here in Philly. You got a, you got a, you got a premier all-star big who can do it all. You know what I'm saying? You really could have just rode that to a championship and just played your role. But ego and and and, and bravi, bravioso and all that other nonsense that don't matter. You're grown. You old ass man. You still acting like a a young kid. And it's just like it's, it's crazy to see. And I feel bad. I I I, I never felt bad for Kawhi because I felt like you could have stayed in San Antonio. But then when you went to went to Toronto, you kind of validated leaving leaving San San Antonio. But then you then you left the Toronto situation and went over to LA and I was like oh, I mean I kind of get it though with Kawhi uh, why he left San Antonio and the Raptors I mean he just wanted to be in a bigger market he want he wanted to be back home in LA like yeah. you know what I'm saying you can't you can't fault some people for that like you know what I'm saying like 
So then the whole situation came out that you was going to the Lakers, but then when you landed the Paul George situation, you went to the Clippers. So I was like, all right, well, you, you get what you deserve over there. But now I feel bad for him because the owner went out there and brought James Harden into this mix that he created over there. And it's over with. Like it's over with over it, for the, it's over for the Clippers. It's done. Thanks, that, that whole that boy, situation that. is getting broken up at the at, at the end of this year. Like, and Harden was just the nail in the coffin for the whole situation. So it, yeah. it's it's just crazy to see a guy. And the thing about Harden's game, it never was really anything that I that that was that was that I enjoyed watching. You know what I'm saying? And and to see one on one. Yeah, and to see you age and not be able to get to the foul line. It's mm-hmm. it's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Like your game, your game, like you like ah, he's annoying to me. That, I guess my NBA minute is just James Harden is fucking annoying. And Definitely I'm glad annoying. that it's over with. So I don't think it's over with though. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, I, I mean, signed- like as far as like as far as like him being like a like a top tier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm he, saying? Like he's like a B he, guy now, not a, not like an A. He guy. might be out the league. He might be out the league. Next year, I mean, like, I, I, after these shenanigans, because you don't got Maury covering for you no more. So yeah, you he burned that bridge. Beefing with, yeah, that's what I say. He beefed with Maury, the one that gave you the opportunity to be the star of a team. Like he traded all the assets to get you from the Thunder, and that's how you repent. Then he traded for you again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Traded Ben Simmons and all that shit to get you to come to Philly, and you burnt that shit. Like, yeah, that burnt shit a crazy. lot of bridges, man. Um, yeah, so. College football playoffs, man. They announced uh, the four teams wound up being Alabama. Well, I, I'll go in order. You got Michigan, Washington, Texas, and Alabama. So the games are Michigan versus Alabama, Texas versus Washington. Florida State finished the season 13-0 and undefeated and did not make the playoffs. A lot, we talked about this a lot in the chat. We talked about it a lot in the chat, and... I saw a lot of people agreeing with the college football playoff committee. They got it right. The fact that Jordan, so Jordan Travis is your Heisman Trophy winner, right? No, I mean if he's that valuable to 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 keep a thirteen and no team out of the playoff, he got to yeah. be the best player. Right. In the- no, because if Washington, if if Penix, uh was not on Washington, they would not go undefeated. They would not have beat Oregon twice. If Bo Nix. Was not on Oregon, they would not have won as many games as they did. Like, bro, they Bo dropped is not the Travis. Heisman. Bo Nix is not the highest. No, he's not. That's yeah. What I'm saying, but he's he's one of the finalists. My thing is, Florida State did everything that they had to do. Alabama got boosted up four spots after barely beating a, a five win Auburn team the week before. Everybody forgot about this. Uh, forgot about how you squeaked your way past that. If you're gonna hold a team accountable for their wins versus whatever, you gotta look at that. The SEC is six and four versus the ACC this year. So the ACC has mm-hmm. a winning record versus the SEC. Florida State did everything they had. The, the, the schedule's the schedule. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold, you can't they went out, they went out there without their starting quarterback and still won those games. Louisville been putting Barely. up Louisville been putting up points this year. That defense held them to what, what was it, twelve points? Something. Like, it score? was for one. It it was raining for one. And if you watch that game, I don't know if you watched the game. I did. I watched that the game. That was a yeah. punt. That was a punt fest for punt three fest whole for quarters. Sure. Because because three before, quarters. because the I just, quarterback the play call for fifty five yards. The my play boy. calling was so ass. Yards. The play call. The play calling. You 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 called the game as if you had a third string quarterback back there. And I get it. You but, know that's go- but that's what he's going to do in the playoffs. Nobody wants to see that shit. They would have played. Bro, 55 passing yards against Louisville, who was not a great, de- not, not even a good defense. They were a good, all- they had a good offense, which the FSU defense did hold them. I give them that. The FSU but you defense. can't go out there. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. You right, can't right. go out there and struggle like that on offense against one of the worst defenses in the country. Louisville scores a lot of points, but they can't stop no damn body. Like they you know, can't what I'm stop a nose I'm That's sorry, a and, and you can't. And your quarterback went out there and threw for 55 yards, bro. Like it was a punt fest. Everybody was like, "Man, please get this shit off the TV." Like you know what I'm saying? Like and so now you're talking about putting them in the playoffs against a team like Washington, like who has a, a good defense and a great offense against 
um, Texas, who has a great offense and a okay, a good defense. Like you know, what I'm saying against uh, who else? Um, Alabama, Michigan. who has a uh, Alabama should great... be in there. Alabama, like, Alabama. I, the SEC I, bias is ridiculous, bro. Alabama should not be in there. If you go like, why rank Florida State at number four last week, only to knock them out for winning? Drex, why are you talking about TCU last year? TCU went undefeated, and they didn't have an injury to their quarterback. Yeah. That's the problem. If, I, the if, TCU if, argument wait, is washed. The TCU, I know. That's I'm what I'm saying. Yeah. If, 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 if Travis did not get hurt, that was the only reason FSU did not get in. If Travis did not get hurt, I would have no problem. FSU would have earned their right to be in. But you can't have your quarterback hurt, right? And then you have two straight games without him, and your offense looks putrid even though you won those games because right, you have right, more right. talent than those teams that you played because even the florida game they struggled against florida who was also without their starting quarterback you know what i'm saying so and they you can't won, have they won that game though yeah they won it but they struck bro they struggle two straight games of offense their offense look like pure shit like you punish, pure you, shit and you punishing a top five defense in the country because of an injury it's not fair I'm saying fair. Their fair. defense wasn't top five. Go look at that. Their defense wasn't top five. They gave up a lot of points to a lot of teams. They struggled versus a lot of bum teams, even with Travis was there. So now when he was out, now your offense, which was carrying you for most of the joint, can't carry you no more. Your defense won those games. Your defense won those games, right? But your quarterback can't go out and throw 55 passing yards in a fucking uh, ACC championship game of against a terrible ass defense and expect to be one of the top four teams just because you went undefeated. Man, hell no. They're also they're not the only undefeated team in the country. So we not we not talking about we 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 not gonna we, hey, we are not saying. gonna sit here and talk about I'm was it saying. Liberty? Not Liberty. Um, yeah, Liberty. Yeah, Liberty. Come on, bro. The one, the hundred and thirty third ranked schedule in the country. Nah, we not doing that. <laughs> FSU schedule was horrible. They I mean, was like fifty something. Alabama score schedule is terrible. Georgia no, schedule. schedule. Georgia schedule nope. is terrible. No, nope. that, FSU had the worst. Let's not start FSU with had the Michigan worst. schedule. FSU had the worst schedule out of all of those teams you're talking about. Let's not let's not start with Michigan schedule. Cup FSU Cake had the worst City. schedule out of all of those guys you talk about. Penn State and, and OSU is the only thing that brings their schedule up. And then Iowa, who, listen. who brings FSU schedule up? Uh, a week one game against LSU that was eight and three in the SEC. That's who a, else? L LSU was number five preseason rank. And, and and the polls, but that's preseason. The polls that's been pre loving LSU all year. They kept LSU ranked, even how, how bad LSU is. They kept LSU ranked all year. Because the, they, 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 they liked the LSU team. The LSU team underperformed. But that's, that was week one. Who else boosts FSU schedule, bro? Like, honestly. I mean, you they, they You can't their, name nobody. They, they won all their games, bro. I understand that. But when it mattered the most, they looked like pure shit. And UGA is about to whoop their ass in, in the Orange Bowl. I don't think so. I think UGA ain't going ain't, 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 to Players ain't going to play. It's going to it's, 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 it's be a skeleton game. I, I, we can we can make a bet on on. Uh, I, can, I say it's, it's gonna be a double digit, double I'm digit uh, win no for fucking, Georgia. I'm definitely not betting on no Florida State game. That's I, 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 <laughs> okay. This, so this, if you and I'm this, talking about double digits, like this argument here is strictly off of the fact that <clears throat> the inconsistencies in this committee that they got. You shouldn't never rank them at number four last week. If you were going to do this, you sh they should have been number five or six. Hold them accountable to that last week, because when they they didn't do anything that that that, that should have had them fall backwards in the standings. Yes, they opinion. did. They got they they played worse in the ACC championship game. They played a better team in the did, ACC championship game. No, I, I would say I would say UF with their defense uh, at home. They beat UF, UF at home. UF, UF. Uh, UF on the road. UF hey. on the road was better was a better opponent than Louisville and North Carolina. The the Georgia's best win is against Missouri. Come on, I'm, I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm <laughs> they, 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 listen. College football. And Georgia didn't is, get in, and Georgia didn't get in. Georgia, didn't, Georgia didn't get in because of Nick Saban. The no, Nick they didn't Saban get in because they lost. They didn't get in because they lost to a better team. No, I, I disagree. I feel like you, if, if, if you, if you, if you win thirty nine straight and lose one by three, you still should be in the playoffs. If you're not gonna put uh, if you're not gonna put Florida State in, Georgia drops to number four. 
after that. I don't loss. think so. They had the opportunity to solidify. When Ohio, they lost. Here's, here's a perfect example. When Ohio State and Michigan played, Michigan was uh, number two, no, number three. Ohio State was number one. When, I, uh, when they lost, Ohio State dropped to number five. And Michigan moved up to number two. Uh, Georgia moved to number one. So, so from number one to five is a four-place drop back, right? Mm-hmm. That should have been the same thing that happened. I don't think so. Especially when a you three see point loss. Texas, when Texas beat the shit out of uh, Alabama. Played, uh, no, no, oh, no, Oklahoma, not State, Alabama, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State, State. They, they, beat beat the the they beat the shit out of Alabama too. They beat the shit out of. This is an audition, <laughs> like you know, this is an audition, and this is why Georgia dropped. Right, this is exactly why Georgia didn't get in because Texas beat the shit out of Oklahoma State in their championship game. That's why, and then Washington beat Oregon again. Like you know what I'm saying, which is Oregon. And Washington were better than Florida State this year. That, so, let's call it spade a spade. So let's look at it here. Night Stalker says he agrees with you. Travis is the best quarterback this year. And if you give all those, if you give any of those other quarterbacks, Florida State's wide receivers, they have better stats. I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Because, I feel like, facts. Uh, no, if you look, I mean Washington got, me. Washington got oh, yeah, two Washington. first round receivers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but I also don't know how they would look without Penix because we haven't seen that. But yeah. they were actually they were dogs. But Keon Coleman was this All American, you know, hyped up to be this preseason All American, like you know what I'm saying, a monster. But look at his stats; like he wasn't even top ten in receiving in the ACC, but he still made first team all ACC just because they went undefeated, which he shouldn't have made yeah. first team. All I think, ACC. I think you just looking at the guy, they gave him first team. <laughs> first yeah, because his stats, his stats don't support that shit. Like you know what I'm saying at all. Yeah, Texas got some dogs on the outside too. Those dudes look like they like six nine. But that's what I'm saying though. Like honestly. What team, like seriously, with FSU's offense without Travis, bro, what team do you see them beating or even competing with? My thing is like, okay, if we're if we're comparing conference versus conference, the ACC outplayed the SEC this year. But you're not comparing conference versus conference. Bro. Now you're paying so, team versus team. Fuck the conference. We're playing team versus team. Yeah, conference if has FSU, to matter because these teams played against each other. Bro, FSU struggle against Louisville. They struggle against Boston College. That was That's terrible. Boston College game. They, they struggle against. They struggle against Clemson. Clemson had a kicker that had just got put on scholarship two days prior. Who they got out of the fucking grocery store? Like literally, he didn't wasn't yeah. even on the team prior he to was, them he, playing. He was, right? He was he was on Wall Street or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like he was on Wall Street and they was like, "Yeah, can you come kick for us for this game?" Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that and was he crazy. missed the fucking he missed the game winner that would uh beat FSU. You, know, you can't struggle against us. We had our backup Tyler Van Dyke got struck. We we started a true freshman against them, right? He they beat us by seven points at home. They struggle against a fucking true freshman, and I feel like the only reason why they won is because he got hurt and Tyler Van Dyke had to come in the game. Like you know what I'm saying? Because it was a 27-20 I mean, game. We're not gonna say we're not gonna say and act like Miami don't have a top five O line and a top five D line, bro. Bro, we finished <laughs> seventy five, bro. Seventy five. So, you know what I'm saying? Like finished seventy five. One of the losses was your co your coach's fault. You know what I'm saying? So. And the refs cheated us, but we ain't gonna get it now. It wasn't a fun. Like I'm saying, like they don't have. We ain't gonna get. We ain't gonna get. They don't have no signature wins. Like you're talking about the LSU. That's week one. Yeah. They didn't dominate. They didn't dominate any of the ACC teams. Every team in this playoff has one of those games where you like. Why did they? Why did they play? Multiple. Yeah, I mean, Bama should have lost to Auburn. You see, Drexel in the chat pointed out the US USF game. But but. The USF game, remember, who didn't play? They benched him after the uh the first game. You know what I'm saying? They was like, we're gonna go with these white boys. Right. They benched him, and the word is Feinbein said that he benched them because he wanted to prove the other coach wrong that the other guy couldn't play, or whatever the case may be. Whatever. It don't matter. You did you 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 whoever you filled it, that's who you filled it. Same, same, same thing we holding against Florida State. They filled in the team that ain't ain't complete. You gotta hold but that against these. Got, 
they also got big wins. Something FSU don't have, and that's my true, argument. True, they don't. Yeah, I, I, I agree yeah, with you that. You know what I'm saying? That's my that argument. Point. That's my argument. They don't have any big wins. Like, even in the game, they, like, FSU has a lot of games they struggling. Boston College, they won 31-29. Clemson, they won 31-24. Uh, they beat Duke, but that was without the quarterback. Yeah, like, well, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, so the thing about, the thing about you, you saying they don't have a big win, the main thing that they don't have is a fucking it's a loss. loss. I, I, I get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, so they, I feel like I feel like thing. I feel like those kids deserved a chance, just like Ohio State. Does, but the only the only thing that I can say is Ohio State showed their asses in that champion that, that that Big Ten championship when they didn't have their backup quarterback. And you're auditioning to get into the to the to the to the playoff. You didn't really showcase it offensively. I get that part, you know what I'm saying, but it's just the inconsistencies in the in, the, in, the, in the, if they were ranked number four when the when the week started. In my opinion, in my opinion, they should have never fell. I get why you, I get why they did, you know what I'm saying, but. Hey man, the, I hate the, that. The I, college, I, just, I just don't like the SEC. Yeah, the college playoffs is top four team, not who is undefeated. All of that, the whole season goes into play, like you know what I'm saying, like. They take all that shit into account. And the most important thing, Florida State don't have an L, but the most important thing they don't have is a quarterback, bro. Like they don't have a quarterback. Yeah. And they out of and they and they out of there. So and it, and what's crazy is like I feel like a lot of people are gonna boycott that game against fucking Georgia. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking skeleton game. Like I don't really see it being a it, be, it being a worthwhile game. Hopefully, you know everybody show up and 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 they, and they ball out, and we get to see, you know, Blame a TCU. real game. Huh? Blame TCU. Blame TCU. Yeah, yeah. TCU definitely got in there and got smoked, but they beat Michigan. Even though. though they beat Michigan, even though they beat Michigan, they got to the championship game and got beat by eighty. Yeah, yeah. They smoked Michigan though. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, NFL time, man. Um. What you got for your NFL? You know, I go since you went first for the NBA minute. Yeah, okay. I go first for the <laughs> NFL minute. It's Cowboys Eagles week. Tough. Yeah, I haven't been able to watch a game all year. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Watching like, that game, I can't. Like, it, like literally, like my oh. body like rejects my ability to be. Like, it's crazy because like I watch like. Like when I when I no matter like I think about years ago I, I used to get like super like hype about the games like I'm about to play you get you get, you get like the you know what I mean the goosebumps yeah. like you about to play but now it just like manifests itself into like I break out into fucking sweats and like hives and shit like that and like it's super uncomfortable like it literally happened week one and I, I like literally was like hey, what the fuck is going on I was having an anxiety attack and I did, I really couldn't figure out what was going on I'm watching the game and I'm like yo why am I here tripping you know what I'm saying I walked outside got some fresh air this and the third. And I was like, oh shit, like maybe it has to do with like, like the game or whatever. So I I, I chalked it over whatever I told my wife about it. She's like, all right, well, let's see what happens next week. Week two, same fucking thing happened. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, it's not yeah. worth it to me. I love them from afar. I haven't watched the game since week one. You know what I'm saying? Because like when I go to watch these games, I just break out in like like fucking hives, you know what I'm saying? So Is it is it is, well, hold on, I don't mean to cut you off. Is it just cowboys games or just Games, Word. period. It's literally just the I, if I, because I have zero vested interest. I, I watch. I, I, I'll be watching. Like I'll watch on my tablet because you showed me that app, the Dofu app. Yeah. I watch all the other games because I can't watch my boys play. You know what I'm saying? The shit is so crazy, and you know what I'm saying. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, cause I, I, I when when like Floyd was fighting or something, like I would get like super like like hype because that I, 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 yeah. I was I was like really invested in it and I, I I just chalked it up to like just being intense like before a kickoff of like a flag football game just being locked in and being dialed in and now it's just manifesting itself in other ways like I just like you know what it's not worth it to me I'm not even putting myself in that position so but it's Eagles Cowboys week and I'm just sitting here like damn I can't even watch the fucking game like, I feel like the first game was crazy you know, you know what's yeah. crazy? I watched the replay of that game and didn't have any problems because I already knew the outcome. We lost when we, when we yeah. lost when we lost to them the first game. I watched the whole replay of that game because it was such a good fucking game. I watched the whole replay of the Seahawks game uh, last time, um, just because like it, 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 it doesn't bother me now. And at that point, I know the outcome of the game. Um, yeah. But this week, I'm like, it's so much on the line, and 
you know, me and you, we talk about Dak all the time. Like, this is the game where he has to, this is my NFL minute. This is what I wanted to get to. This is the game where he has to, the way he's been playing against these bums, this is the game where Dak, because what started his run was the Eagles game. He had a great game against the Eagles. Now, you got to close it out with a win. You know what I'm saying? You got to close this one out with a win. And I think, you know what I'm saying, if we win this game, it's a clear path to the division here. You know what I'm saying? I think we, I, I, I do think that. I think the Bills are on the downswing. We got the Bills left and we got the Dolphins left. I think the Dolphins will have everything locked up by the time we play them. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> excited about this game. I think it's a lot on the line, uh, not only division-wise, MVPs, talk, all this type of stuff. Like, Dak, this is the game where you got to show up. But all that being said, we got to run the ball. <laughs> like, this this team yeah. is super susceptible to the run game. Tony Pollard, lace him up, bro, because we need 20, 25 carries out of this guy this game. But I doubt we get that because it's Mike McCarthy. He's going to drop back 40 times. But if we run the ball against them, control the clock, we win this game. So also think Jalen Hurts is really hurt. Yeah. So, like, we're going to see how that play out. I actually picked y'all to win this game, like, um, but I'm also, like, on the fence because the Eagles did just get their asses whooped. That's what, that's what got me <laughs> like, worried. You know what I'm saying? The Eagles did just get their ass whooped, so they're going to be hella motivated on top of it already being a, a rivalry game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't know, man. I, I, y'all at home. it Home field don't matter against them. I feel like yeah, anytime, yeah, I, know, I, watch, that's what I'm saying. anytime I watch <laughs> – at Eagles Cowboys game, I feel like it's it's like 60 40 Eagles in the Cowboys Stadium. Cowboys yeah, Stadium yeah, isn't I, really like a because you, you get a lot of people go there to like see the stadium, so it'll be yeah. a lot of like outside fans in, in fucking Cowboys yeah, yeah. Stadium. I wasn't talking about more so for the fans though. What I'm saying is, I at home Dak plays much better in a dome, yeah, yeah, than he does outside, like you know what I'm saying. So that that's gonna work out for y'all, and then like you said, Hurts. Hurts is definitely hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's obvious. Uh, so, but he had two carries last week. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all got the defense to, to get after him. So, but we'll see, man. I, I don't know. I think y'all come out and, and win, man. Y'all, y'all got, like, a little winning streak going on. So, Yeah, I, I was looking at, like, a six-point victory. <laughs> uh, maybe, like, a two-field goal win. Yeah. Um, some people got us winning by 10. I don't know if that's possible just because I think their defense is – steady enough to make us work a little bit. I don't think the offense is is super threatening to us because they can't really run the ball. They, and it's funny because Swift is averaging like 5.6 yards a carry or something yeah. like that. And they just don't give them the ball. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if they continue that, they, they don't give them the ball, I'm cool with that because I feel like if they run mm-hmm. the ball well against us, it'll take a little bit of pressure off of fucking Hurts. But... I don't know, but I feel I feel like y'all y'all need to run the ball because uh, San Fran showed last week that that Philly uh, run defense is is bad. Like the last three opponents ran the ball well yeah. in Philly, you know what I'm saying? So we just got to run the ball. You know what I'm saying, but I just I just feel like these guys drop back forty times a game. And it's just fucking annoying. Like, yeah, man. my um, so, mad minute. I mean, I was gonna talk about how San Fran running through y'all division, but. <laughs> You know, I'm a, uh, I'm a shift to, uh, the Chiefs' offense. Mm. Like the Chiefs have been getting carried this year by the defense, cause the offense been bad. Like they don't have no weapon. Like even Kelsey has taken a, a step back. I don't know if it's. I mean, he getting triple covered. Yeah, that too. You know like, I mean? It's and they crazy. Didn't, they know they ain't got no other receivers. No yet. other receivers. Like, like literally. <laughs> and it was crazy because I'm watching that game last week, and it, and it, it was the last game of my parlay. <laughs> it was the last game of one of my parlays. And it was like, Marquez, Mark Valdez Scantlin dropped the TD last week. This week, he's wearing this DB as a backpack. And and the refs usually give the Chiefs all the calls. Yeah. Like, that was crazy not to see them get that call right there. And it would have been a bailout call for sure, but it still was pass interference. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I agree, man. It, it, it's the, the the wide receivers 
it's one of the top teams in like drop passes too. It's crazy. Like they're like top top three in drop passes. Yeah. Only other team up there is like the Giants. Like what, what that shit's bad. Like for sure, that shit bad. I yeah. know that shit is like frustrating for Mahomes because you know what I'm saying. He, he used to having Tyreek, and then even last year when they won the Super Bowl, like. The receivers actually stepped up, like Juju. Yeah, like, yeah you know Juju stepped like, up. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I, I, that's why I was surprised yeah. to see him leave, uh, um, Kansas City because he stinks over. Um, oh yeah, uh, he's, he, they playing right now. He stinks over there because you don't have <laughs> you don't have anybody that can get you the ball. Gotta, you're not really yeah. like a you're not really like a game breaking like, receiver. You went. You literally left from Mahomes to go fucking with Mac Jones. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, what? Now nah, Zappy, like. I'm not even watching that game. It was a Zappy versus Trubisky. Oh, you saw the graphic for that joint. It was like Bill yeah, Belichick and TJ Watt. <laughs> and that was oh, the, no, no, no. I, the real graphic. It was a, oh, no, no. I seen one. It was like uh, it was like a tra- two trash cans, and it had like Trubisky and uh, Zappy jerseys on uh, it. <laughs> yeah, like because, you know, most of the graphics, they'll have like the top players for each team or whatever. You couldn't even find a player for the Patriots, so you put yeah, Bill the, Belichick. The coaches. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was funny, man. Um, but yeah, that's I mean, NFL, a lot of good teams, man. Um, and things are heating up for these playoffs. So uh <clears throat> Madden time. It was, uh, big, it, it was a pretty big update. Uh did you get a chance to look at that update? Yeah, but I mean I when I was looking at it, I really didn't really see anything like that like jumped out to me other than off, other than, like the offensive line in the um, RPO shit. Uh, like that was really a big thing that, that I seen. Yeah, I, I like that too. You know what I'm saying? Because like some of the RPOs are super overpowering. And then it didn't, then it didn't matter what kind of front you had. You can just keep running those same weak ass RPOs. But uh, yeah. my main thing that I like too, you know, um, was the back shoulder buffer a little bit. They they kind of they kind of yeah, buffed yeah, that yeah, down yeah. a little bit. So. Like guys like Javel, who who mastered it, it's a little bit more difficult for him to throw it. He 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 against 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 um, um, Drex, he had a couple nice back shoulders, um, but again, you have to really really practice that. You know what I'm saying? I've tried yeah. it a few times. They just literally throw an interception. So I, I, when you see guys in the chat that everything can't be cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like it's I'm trying to explain to people everything like. If somebody's cheesing, cool. We're gonna call it out. We're gonna we 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 gonna we gonna make sure, like, we put the kibosh on it. But, like, this is something this guy clearly has practiced. It it can be stopped yeah. if you user it. It's not it's not cheese. You know what I'm saying? And then if you don't if you don't hit it right, it's an interception. I can tell you from experience trying to throw it. It's an interception. So, yeah. um, they did buff it a little bit to make it to make it a little less. Uh, rocket catchy, you know what I'm saying? Because it can't come off like that. But um, should buff fucking injuries. Injuries are crazy. Injuries are crazy. crazy. Um, update. You know what I'm saying? Like we we they they continue and to try to make the game better. I've enjoyed the Madden game this year. I don't know. I don't know how you, how, how you like the update. I feel like every update's kind of been on time. And this update, I do appreciate the fact that it didn't break anything. This time around, I mean, yeah. franchise disappeared for like. You know, an hour or something yeah, like that. Had, but it was ner- we was nervous out here, man. So we had to got clipped. Yeah, so um it's good to see that it didn't completely break something, like the kick meter being blocked and shit like that. So um yeah. mid season predictions, bro. Here we are, halfway through the season. Who do you like? For these divisions, man, because we got we got top of the AFC, bunch of three loss teams: seven and three Cincinnati, eight and three Houston, eight and three Buffalo, five and four. You right there leading your division. Then Tennessee, six and seven four. And four. Six, oh, you six and six four and now. Four. Right, I gotta update that. I gotta update that. I didn't even update it with the advance. That's crazy. I gotta update that. Um, and then over the NFC, Drex is ten and zero. Uh. Rogers nine and one, then six and four, seven and three, seven and three, seven and three, six and four are some of the records here. Um, I'll let you go first, man. Who do you like for the divisions, man, on the AFC side? 
AFC side, man, I'm I'm, I'm stick with my prediction with the Browns. He he, he gave Bosch the beats. Mm. Uh, yeah, he definitely, he definitely did. did. Yeah, he <laughs> gave Bosch the beats recently. So I think they either tied now or he like a game back. So I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with uh. He took a crazy Browns. loss this recently. Unexpected again. Yeah. He he been taking some bad ones. Um. <clears throat> Uh, I pick Ray stick. I'm gonna stick with Ray. Um, pick undisputed. I'm gonna stick with undisputed. Me, of course. Mm. Um, even though I got a little comp now, I'm still gonna shoot. Still gonna pick me um, in the AFC West, NFC North. I'm gonna stick with Smitty. Um, I had uh, Vale in the NFC South, but shit, looking like he might not even make the playoffs. Yeah, Roger kind of uh, running away with that joint. Yeah, so Roger definitely that's an easy one. Um, Drex. But if you look at if you, if you look at not the country, if you look at that the standings, um, Vale hasn't lost in division, so that's something to think about there. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he falling behind on the, on the losses though for sure. Yeah, and the losses he like five and five. I don't know what it, five right and five on now, here yeah. is they five and five. Like yeah, five and five. I just updated yeah. it so if you refresh it, yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll be it'll be. Uh, so I got Drex winning y'all division, and then I, I, I I'm gonna stick with uh, Slop with um, the West, uh, even though Arizona um, up a game right now. I'm gonna stick with Slop. You know, I think West. you're safe with that. <laughs> <laughs> you're safe with that. Um, yeah, man, I like obviously AFC East Buffalo. Uh, he's kind of running away with that. Um. I'm gonna go Cooley in the AFC South, man. Mm-hmm. I think he won their first matchup, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go with him in the. He definitely won their first matchup. Um, I'm gonna stick with Baj. I had Baj for the uh, for the North, and then um, obviously you for the South. Um, unless you know, you, unless you decide to lose to Denver again. Play <laughs> wild, wild card hey, teams. Obviously, it's either going to be. It was all pro. Uh, wild card teams would be Houston and. Uh, Cleveland possibly. Uh, if, 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 if Houston doesn't win the division, it'll be Tennessee and Cleveland. Uh, over in our over on our side, all depends on how I play against Drex tonight. Um, if I can get this victory or not, but I think he's too far ahead to catch him in the division at this moment because he's ten and zero and I'm seven and three. Even if I win, I'll still be two games behind him. Um, yeah. And then over in in uh in the South, you got Carolina kind of running away with that thing. Um, Chicago definitely will win that division over there, and I'll take the Seahawks in uh, the West division. So I think we kind of pr- pretty much similar all across the board. Yeah. A lot of good games left though, for sure. Um, yeah, that I mean that leads us to the next time. Like like I'm looking at Neon right now, and Neon. I, I don't know if you've seen that recap feature where it shows you like the scoreboard and. Uh, the team you said what man you the, oh, recap, you know the, re, the recap feature on neon when it shows you like when you yeah. get in the game that's elite and it'd be great for like twitter and stuff like that for guys to kind of screen grab that and you i i just, I just want to see us start using uh neon a lot more because it has a lot of great features built into it like if you yeah. click like for guys that don't know what i'm talking about if you go to a game that you've played and click on that game you'll see a couple different options as far as like um, you'll see team stats, you'll see player stats, and then you'll see recap. And if you yeah. click on that recap, it'll bring up a picture that shows you like a recap of the game with a graphic, which is great mm-hmm. for any type of, uh, you know, multimedia stuff that you want to do. If you're using Twitter or if you're using like, um, <clears throat> you know, creating stories or whatever the case may be, that's a nice little, uh, um, yeah. That's built in graphic, mean. yeah. Built in graphic that will help you, um, you know, and it looks good. So it's, it's really, yeah. Neon has a lot of elite features. I want to see us use it a lot more, get some headlines in there, um, and just use the game for you, you, you use the app for what it's made to, made to be used for. Um, get your trade blocks up and stuff like that. And, and yeah. you know, just use, just use the application is what, I, what it kind of boils down to, is what I want to see a little bit more of. Um, that's why I wanted that as a topic to let you guys know there's a lot of different things you could be using this app for. So please use it, man. We paid for it, so use it. Yeah. Um, 
Another thing I want to another thing I want to do. I know I know you call some games. You you mainly only call games when I reach out to you. Um, I call games as well. I want to lock in Thursday nights, uh, Thursday evenings for games that I'll call because I'll call games either before or after we do the show here every single week. Yeah. That's that's when I'm free. So I want I want to lock in some games uh, Thursday. So I'll be hitting guys up. You know, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on how. How we looking to kind of get some games called? Because I want to get more game of the weeks. We got we got, yeah. we got scream on Wednesdays, um, you know. So whatever night works for you, I'll reach out to you to see what kind of games you want to call, and just get more games called, man. That gets a lot of activity yeah. going, fun <laughs> stuff. So I want to see more game of the weeks, guy. All right, definitely down. For it. And with Plus that, you know, man. Oh no, I said. Plus, you know. uh Semester bot be over, so a little more free yeah. time for you, yes, sir. I like more free time. <laughs> All right, so you got any parting shots for us tonight, man? Part shots, man. Ah, uh, man, you know, salute to the league, man. You know, or staying active, you know, yes, uh, sir. Shit. Really, it, man. Yes, sir, man. Uh, you go eat, man. Look like the wife ready to go grub, so um. Yeah, for my <laughs> my part my part in shots, man, is um, you know, great return for us. You know what I'm saying? It was a nice little break, a little chill time, you know, like relax, re, re uh, you know, recuperate and stuff like that. So it's good to be back. I'm happy to be back. Like I said, more and more content is what we want to bring to the league. Um, if guys have any ideas, we got the suggestion boxes. Get them in there, man. Don't be a, like, even if we don't do anything with the suggestion, it's not a bad suggestion. Like, you got guys throwing X's on everything. Cool. Just keep, you know, keep throwing the suggestions out there. And um, some of the stuff is good stuff. We'll use it. If it's not, then it'll just sit there. You know what I mean? No, it's, it's no big deal. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's my that's my, that's my my shot for the week, man. And with that, though, we getting up out of here. I want you everybody to have a good night and enjoy your Thursday night trash football game. I holla. To prevent fatal injuries in football, I have invented this new type football helmet, which I believe will do much to rid the game of fatalities. in football, I have invented this new type football helmet, which I believe will do much to rid the game of fatalities. Uh-huh.